Hi there everyone, um, just want to say this is my first time recording a video for YouTube, kind of giving a walk around so apologies for bad formatting or anything like that off the bat, but I just wanted to talk really quickly about um, some work I've been doing, something I couldn't really find much information on, about converting a car from um, carburetor to fuel injection. So I'm going from a, a CA16 Nissan Bluebird to an SR20 from a Nissan Primera in my 89 Bluebird um, but I was having trouble with fueling and the trouble I was having is is obviously because being a carburetor the engine that was in it had a mechanical fuel pump so there was no fuel pump in the tank the only ones that did some did come with the fuel pump but they're very difficult to get them so it's literally just the sensor for the the fuel gauge is all that was in there so I had to come up with a solution so my solution was to fit a swirl pot or a surge tank in the boot which has been done so here it is in place uh, so what I have is two feeds here from the petrol tank being fed by a smaller pump underneath the car and then I have a high pressure there's a Bosch 044 knockoff by automotive plumbing solutions I believe I'll link them in the description. Uh, this is just a knockoff Bosch pump, 044 pump anyway. Um, just temporary, just to get it up and running. I'll get a proper Bosch one in due time. Um, but basically, uh, the reason I'm posting this is because I didn't really find much information about just doing the likes of this. So I decided, right, I'll just do it myself. So, well, basically, there's that in place. And just to show then the other helper pump, the little facet. 60107 is that one. You can see the fuel lines, then they go up over to the tank. Oh yeah, just in there. So another thing I wanted to check out was the current draw. Because again, now Facet have information up on current draw on their little fuel pump, which they say is about two, two and a half amps max. But there's nothing for the Bosch pump. I contacted the manufacturer, they couldn't help at all. So what I've done is I've just set up a little station here. So we're going to be reading current and put that over to the 10 amps there. So disconnect that. So what I'll do is I can switch it on via ground anyway. So what I'm going to do now, so I have, so there's to my ground. Just get that up connected up there. That other one disconnected. So what I'm going to do is just test the current draw on that pump. So I'm going to do that there now. So yeah, it's basically as they were saying, two amps. And that's with pressure in the tank. Let's give a look around with that pump there now working. So that's it, so I'm going to disable that one there now. Now I had all this running already anyway, so I know that it's definitely fueling around the system. So now what I'm going to do, I'll connect up the other pump and we'll run both of them. So I have both of them running from this four and a half millimeter square wire that I have running. So I'll just connect that up there, just to get the current draw on this. Because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be fusing it at, and that's what I couldn't find anywhere. So, now that's the two of them connected up. Now let's turn all that on and see what the total draw is on that. The two pumps. So the two together, less than 11. So I suppose a 15 amp fuse will probably do it. Any recommendations? Sure, put them in the comments for me there. Let's just have a look at all this running now. So it is quite loud, as you can hear, but it's working fine. Okay. 
Yeah, I can just about feel the fuel pressure in that very, very vaguely. It's definitely there. Yeah, it's much harder to squeeze that than it is that. So yeah, that's it. There you go. Hopefully this might help somebody out anyway. And again, I'll put a link in the description to the fuel pumps that I've been using. I'm sure I'll do the surge tank as well. It's just a cheap eBay one, but uh, I'm happy with how it, how it turned out. Okay, thanks very much.